Hey Class Fit Sugar, Eliza here, and I'm so excited to bring you a 30 minute kickboxing inspired workout. We're gonna be moving through 11 rounds together. No equipment is necessary, so let's kick it. All right, Kiki Crew, let's get started with round one, our warm up. I love starting with big shoulder rolls to the back, so let's meet right here, opening up that space. You got it. We're gonna rack here for four more counts. Three, two, and just switch directions right here. This should actually feel really good for your upper body. Light bend in the knees right here. We work for eight, seven, six, five. We're gonna go into a lateral stretch, so just come with me. We're gonna step it out to the side. We step, tap, back to center, and lift. Now I want you to think of a lot of control coming through the core as you step out to the side. You get a nice long stretch in your hamstring. Power off the heel. Awesome, for four. Woo! We're here for three. Nice long stretch, we go for two more. All right, let's hit it one more time. And we're gonna take it to the other side. So we take a step, lunge, center, and lift. Step it out, lunge, center, and lift. That's it. Awesome. Now, if you can take your gaze with you, go for it. It's gonna just deepen the stretch a little bit more. Nice job. Full body work. Give that rotation some love and attention right here. Awesome. Okay, let's meet back for shoulder rolls. Come back to center, roll it out. Perfect. We're here for four, three, and we're gonna jump rope. If jump roping doesn't feel good, you can always take a march in place. We're gonna walk forward and back just a little bit. It's front and back, front and back. Beautiful. Now we're gonna add on a little bit more. Take it front and back, down for two. Warming up the lower body. Nice work. Let's go for one more. Alternating front kicks are gonna bring us into our next round. Here we go. We kick it out right here. Exhale, striking with the heel for eight, seven. Don't worry about your height. Focus on that power. All right, back to our center squats. Now kick it crew. If you're new here, I want you to know that round two is all about the lower body. So I want you to drive that weight through your heels. You got it. Keep it going for eight. We go for seven. We're here for six. For five. We work for four. Final three. We go for two. All right, I'm gonna turn to the side right here. We're gonna take it down, step, and back up. Take it down, step. Now what we're doing is we're building heat in the opposite leg, that standing leg. I want you to think of sitting back into that heel. You got it. Down, tap. So we're shifting that weight. You can see my body move back, and we're really loading that leg. One more right here, you got this. Let's go back to center squats. I'm gonna meet you there. Inhale, exhale, okay. How are we feeling? I hope you're nice and warm. We're gonna repeat that little combo with a reverse lunge. In three, two, here's what it looks like on the other side. Down, step, 90 degree angles. Drop, step, whoop. Find that balance. Now I hope me wobbling humanizes this experience for you. I'm doing it in real time and I'm wobbling, so I'm gonna work on the core focus here to bring me back to center. And that's a good tip to take with you if you start to wobble. All right, I want you to hang out here less than 10 seconds. Sit back into the heel. We got two more, come on. Take it down. Last one, down, center squats, let's do it. We take it down and press, woo, good. Sink back, yep. We work for four, final three. Now I'm gonna throw some kicks into the mix. We take it down, up, front kick. Now the tempo is a little quick. 
So I want you to remember you have options. Shorten your range, lower your kicks. Woo. Come on, kick it crew. Fire it up. Eight, seven, go six. We're here for five. Go for four, three. We're almost into round three, come on. Hold it, center. Whew. We made it, I want you to take a little jump rope. So we are shaking it out, we're getting ready for round three. This is gonna be our first cardio round, but before we get there, we're gonna hit reverse lunges. So let's find our stance. We take it back and lift. There is an emphasis on the lower body, but I promise we're gonna give attention to the rest of our bodies in just a second. Remember in boxing that the root and the strength is coming from your legs. So it's really important to work here on the lower body, four more counts. In four, three, two, fighter stance. Hands up right here, feet are on train tracks. All right, I want us to start with just a jab and I want you to feel the power of the jab right here. Eventually, we're gonna add a kick to it for a kick-jab combo. Rotating that palm, making a tight fist. Let's go for eight more counts and then we're gonna hit it for a full combo. Are you ready, Kiki Crew? We go in four, three, Two, now watch me. Side kick, jab. Side kick, jab. Now the height of your side kick is not important. All you gotta do is square your hips. Knee faces forward. Let's give it some more texture. We're gonna add on. Kick, jab, walk it forward, walk it back. That's it. Do it again. Jab, walk it forward and back. Push. Let's go for it one more time. All right, let's start with that jab on the other side. Good, micro bend in the elbow, but you wanna work for a full extension. We're here for eight, seven, six, five. Are you ready? We're gonna go for the kick on the opposite leg. Here we go. That's it. Kick it out. Now have some grace with yourself if you mess up. It's okay, keep moving. We're gonna add on that little step. Here it is. We take it, kick, jab, walk it out. That's it. Awesome. Do it again. Woo! We're flying through the round. Push. Go for it. Jab and walk it out. We're taking this till the end. Let's go for one more set. Woo! Right here. All right, high plank position. Are you ready? We take it down. In this high plank position, know that you always have options. Option one, knees down. Option two, bring your hands to an elevated surface like a wall or a coffee table. Woo! Find your breath. We're up in three, two, and one. All right, come on up. We're gonna start with a march. Nothing like a little march, right? Find your breath. All right, let's talk about the footwork. Side, side, hold. Boxing is a lot of footwork. And so we're gonna just build into a run, run, hold. But if running doesn't feel good, you keep it right here, right? Here we go. Right here, side, side, hold. Lateral movement. We're getting a little bit more of the inner thighs. Yep. Remember the original where we were just walking it out. We're gonna get our feet into fighter stance and we're gonna go for uppercuts. In three, two, one, here we go. Now, remember that boxing power is coming from the legs, but on your uppercuts, your biceps are assisting with the strength. Keep it going. You ready to pick it up? It's gonna look like this. Four uppercuts, jab, jab, hold. Come on, jab, jab, hold. Use the biceps, hold. Nice work. Two more. Pull the hands back to the face. Hold. All right, march it out. Yup. If you wanna run, right here. Nice work. Pick it up, up. Woo! Other foot front. Here we go. Uppercuts. Notice the big bend in my knees. Scoop up and under. Full combo. Here we go. Four uppercuts. Jab, jab, hold. So good. Woo! 
Come on. Beautiful work, Kiki Crew. Now, we're making our way into a little combo with jumping jacks and kicks right here. Kick for two, pick it up. Option, pick it up. Doesn't matter if you're jumping, get your arms overhead. Quick feet, Woohoo! nice job. Round four complete. We're gonna make our way into our next round. Starting with taps. Whew. Round five, can you believe it? Let's get our arms up. Yep. Let's turn these into full jumping jacks. Here we go. Nice work. Whew. Feeling strong right here. We go for eight, seven. We're gonna get back into fighter stance. Jab crosses to begin. Jab, cross. Whew. Yep. So good. Keep it up. Woo! Now we're gonna get into some slips, some defensive movements. Jab, cross, slip, cross. Jab, cross, slip, cross. Come on. Slip, cross. Yes. Build that heat. Come on. Jab, cross, slip, cross. Awesome. Couple more. Woo! You ready to add on? Here we go. Jab, cross, slip, cross, two back knees. Hey, so it's a lot of full body connection. One more. Hold it here, tap it out. Arms up. Let's take those full jacks if you're ready for it. Come on. All right, other foot front. Let's just take it. Jab, cross. Pull the hands back to the face. Woo. Now at this point, normal to be tired, I'm with you. But come back to your intention. Let's pick up our pace. Jab, cross, slip. Add the cross. Now you know what's coming. We're gonna add the back knees. In just a second. You ready, kick it crew? Here we go. Jab, cross, slip, cross. Pull it in, use the core. Yep. Jab, cross, slip, cross. So good. Jumping jacks, come on. Woo. Lengthen the arms. You're going right for that finish line. Water break is coming up. In three, two, one. All right, crew, so we're getting a water break right here. I want you to breathe, but keep moving. We have less than 10 seconds, and when we come back, we're going for round six active recovery. We're gonna work on weightless arms. We have four seconds until we start. Let's meet back right here, open up the arms, and start with a pulse. Now, round six is always a sneaky one. It's active recovery so that you have a chance to recover, but those arms are gonna be talking to you in just a second. Keep it up. Like bend in the knees, just so your low back is not taking the brunt of that weight. And we're gonna take some bicep taps right here. Tap it out. That's it. You're gonna get out what you put in. So I want you to think of lengthening the arms. Light bend in those knees. We're gonna go for a little combo. It looks like this. We take it pulse, pulse, tap. Pulse, pulse, tap. Nice work. Find your breath. Pulse, pulse, tap. In just a moment, we're gonna pick this up. Double the speed, and you're gonna have to ground through your legs. You ready, kick it, crew? We go in four, three, two, here we go. We take it, four, three, two, one, tap and hold. Four, three, two, one, tap and hold. Woo! That's it. Yup. If your arms are wiggling and jiggling, I want you to embrace it right here. Give it the full power. Let your body just move. Come on, four, three, two, one, tap. Woo, tap. Shoulders and biceps should be feeling this. Couple more. We're gonna take a little bit more of recovery in three, two, triceps. Rotate, rotate, that's it. All right, notice how my palm is shifting to the back. That's it, eight, seven, we're here for six. Relax the shoulders. I know it's a lot of work right here on the upper body. 
but keep the shoulders relaxed. Four, three, two, come with me. We take it over, over, tap, tap, hold. So now we have this nice little dance of triceps and biceps, whoo, nice work. All right, now connect with your breath. Again, tap, tap, and hold, that's it. We're gonna be here for four more counts. You got it, press, push it away. Last one. Okay, team, we take it, tap for two, and pulse. Yup, tap for two, and pulse. Tap for two, you got it. This is where you really gotta hang on, you really gotta fight. Pick it up, we take it, tap, tap, hold, and in the front for two. We start to get a little bit more into that chest. Woo, tap, tap, hold. Good news is, we're way over that halfway point in the round. Use that as confidence to finish this. Come on. Final 30, let's go. Woo. We work for four. In three. We go for two. All right, triceps and biceps to bring us home. Rotate. Tap. Single it out. Push it away. Yep. Now, we're heading into our next round in just a moment, and it's back to cardio. Woo! Come on. We take it, rotate, last time, and we give virtual high fives right here. Nice job, I want you to shake out those arms. We're going into round seven, and we're gonna get into a little jump rope. Whew. Suspenseful, what's coming next? We're gonna start with some lateral movement. So we're gonna just march it side to side. I want you to just get to know your space. Here we go. Side for two. You're gonna have two opponents. I'm sure you can think of two things that you're fighting for today. Opponent number one is on one side and opponent number two is on the other. Now we're gonna start to travel with our jabs. That's it. You're stepping and pushing off of the opposite foot. Push. Now, I'm not gonna leave us here. We're gonna add a little bit more to it. We're gonna take a shot to the body. Head, body. Notice how I get lower on those body shots. Your opponents are your height. Woo. That's it. Head, body. Now we're gonna add on a little bit more on each side. Ready? We're gonna do it right here. Coming up, we take it side. Side, walk in front and back. Four jacks. Nice work. Travel, head, body. Walk it front and back. Nice work. Do it again, travel. Head, body, walk it. Yep. So these are fun combinations that keep it interesting, but I want you to really stay true to the roots of the movement. So keep your hands up on your jabs. Nice long form on the jacks. You got this. Head, body. We pick it up for four, three, two. Now I'll just hold it here, tap it out. Center squats to recover. We're back at the suspenseful moment. We're way over halfway through. Woo, four. We're here for three. Final two. Let's just move our opponents side to side with our jabs. All right. You're gonna do this your way, okay? Let's take a home full combo. Head, body, walk it forward. Jack it out for four. Do this your way. Come on, head, body. Yes, four jacks. So good. Woo. Walk it, pick it up. Remember your options. Either one is great. Work. Nice. Final little piece right here. Let's just tap it out. We go into center squats. Let's take it down, reaching the arms. Your legs tired yet? Inhale, exhale. Four, three, we go for two, and round eight. All right, low impact knees. Woo. I want you to think of your core, guiding this movement. Nice work. We're getting into some kicks. But first we're gonna balance. Are you ready? Don't be mad at me, but I'm gonna make you slow down, which is gonna challenge you. Lift, press, in and down. 
lift, press, in, woo! All right, here's what I'm trying to show you. The four parts of the kick and some balance. You press. Notice how I'm striking with the heel. All right, can we let it fly? Here we go. Take it front and front. Now don't miss the four parts. Nice job. Okay, team. We're gonna go for a front kick, tap back. It looks like this. Right here, and press for two. Let it fly, feel that freedom. So good. Tap it back. Yep. We're gonna add a little bit more. Kick, tap. Walk it out. Good, do it again. Here we go. Kick, tap. Yep. Two more times. Woo! Here's what I can promise you for this round. Work on endurance. I can promise you a little challenge, but you gotta promise yourself that you're gonna give it 100%. And you're not gonna try to look like me. You're gonna do it your own way. Let's do it one more time. Yep. I give you the tools, you take it. Come on. All right. Front kicks only. We're gonna lead on the other leg. We're gonna go for a front kick, tap back, and then we go for the jacks. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, here we go. That's it. And out. Power. Yep. Now, two more. And then we're gonna add that motion walking forward and back. Here we go. Kick, tap. Walk it. You can have a little dance party on the way out. Kick, tap. Woo! Nice job, kick it crew. Come on, push. Press. We're bringing it home. Do it again. Kick, tap. All right, I want you to meet me in a high plank position. Here we go. Into our next round. Remember your options. You can drop the knees. Woo! Now, we're gonna be here for four more counts. We hold for four, three, two, one, and grab a mat. All right, crew, so we are on our mats and we're gonna start in tabletop position for round nine. What I want you to think of in tabletop position is having your knees about hip width apart and your hands about shoulder width apart. Drive the belly button back towards the spine and we're gonna extend one leg behind. So you're balancing on three points of contact on your mat. Exhale, press, inhale down. Now make sure that you're not hyperextending like this. You, again, you wanna find that power, belly button back towards your spine. And it's not about how high the leg is going. It's about your form, keeping the hips squared, knees down or facing down. All right, in just a second, we're gonna take this into a little combination that's gonna bring our leg to a diag diagonal point on our mat. So we're gonna lift the leg up, tap over, back to center, and reset. Awesome. Now you should start to feel that heat build in the leg. And we're gonna pick up our pace in just a second. Going slower is actually a little harder in this case because your core is working a little bit harder to stabilize you as you bring the leg across. So, let's pick up our pace. We take it up, tap, lift and tap. Up, tap, lift and tap. Flexing the feet. You got it, awesome work. We're gonna work here for four, three, two. All right, team, we're gonna hold the leg on the diagonal and we're just gonna take a pulse up and down. Now I want you to do your best to keep your hips squared. So if you're opening up like this, just readjust and keep the leg lower. We're here for three, we go for two, last one, and child's pose. This should feel like a gift right here, stretching through the hips, low back release. You ready to come on out? We got another side to do. Let's set it up, hip squared, press and down. Lift, same exact idea. Now let's try to work on our core control here as we take it up, across, lift, and center. Using the breath on moments of exertion. So every time I'm lifting, 
One more at this pace, you got it. All right, we're gonna pick it up right here. Let's do it. Press and lift. Now some of what we did today was a lot of uh, shadow boxing and pairing it with this kind of low impact training is really important because you always wanna work on your strength and coordination. We're gonna be here for eight more counts. And that's what we're working on right here. Final four, and then we're gonna hold that diagonal. Three, two, one. Go ahead and take your time as you meet me all the way in that diagonal. Let's lift and bring it down. If you're sinking into the opposite hip, I want you to just shift the weight back a little bit. We're here for four. Legs might be shaky. Three, final two, last one, and it's child's pose. All right, knees go wide. Woo. Take a breather. You can sway side to side if that feels comfortable. And we're gonna make our way onto our backs. So go ahead, you can cross the ankles, shoot the legs through, or just flip it over. Here we go. Onto the back. All right. Hands behind the head, exhale, press, inhale, back. Now we got a cool little combo coming up. We're gonna add a one-two punch, and we're also gonna add a glute bridge. But for now, let's just rock out. And back. Good. We press up and back. Let's go for four. We're here for three. Final two. All right, come with me. It's gonna look like this. We take it, jab, cross for four counts. Roll it back. Glute bridge for two. Nice, so we get a little bit of that hamstring work. If you're feeling it in your shins, I want you to be mindful of where your heels are. They might be too far out in the glute bridge. So just kind of play with the placement of your feet. Now I'm gonna actually correct myself a little bit. I'm gonna try my best on this next set to keep my heels glued. As you get tired, they're gonna wanna lift. Do it again, exhale, press, use the breath. Drive through the heels. Nice work, and press. So good. Here we go, we take it up. And back. Glute bridge. Okay, last full set. You got this. Exhale. Yep. Roll it back. All right, back to our center crunches. Here we go. Now, try your best. Keep that low back. Plant it to your mat. We're right at the tail end of this round. I want you to finish nice and strong. Full combo. Here we go. We got this. Yep, roll it back. And press, we lift for two. Come on, you can do this one more time. Let's go. Woo. And pick it up and down, up and down. All right, hug your knees into your chest. Curl up into a little itty bitty ball. Hold it right here. And let's go for a full body stretch. Reaching the arms nice and long. A really big part of Kick It is mindfulness. Hug one knee into your chest. Go ahead and roll the ankle out. You can work on your actual body as much as you want, but if your mind is not there, if it's not present, if it's not clear, then it's just a short-term win. We want to work on these long-term wins. So little things every day that allow you to free your mind, again, like a 30-minute workout, is setting you up for success in the long run. All right, let's come up into a seated position. Use your core to lift and let's reach for the toes. Now you might see that I'm hunched over a little bit, so I'm gonna challenge all of us here to come back into a neutral spine, reach the arms. I don't care about you touching your toes. I want you to focus on the stretch. Breathe into that stretch for the hamstrings. Inhale, reach the arms. Exhale, seated twist, I want you to press up. Inhale, reach up again. Twist. Inhale, come up to center. Reach for the toes one more time. Relaxing the shoulders, feeling that sensation behind your legs. All right, inhale, reach the arms up. You're gonna exhale, come into a seated cross-legged position for the final little bit of this class. 
You can place your hands on your knees. You can close your eyes if you feel comfortable, or you can just lower your gaze. And just notice where your mind goes when you start to quiet everything else. If you're feeling anxious, if you're feeling stressed, I want you to take a big inhale. Release it through the breath. One more time, take the arms with you, inhale. Hands to heart center. Awesome work, Kick It Crew. You should be so proud of yourselves for taking 30 minutes out of your day to move your body. I will see you next time on Class Fit Sugar. One of our viewers asked, what is my favorite kickboxing combination? And it's definitely a kick and jab combination. I love taking a side kick right into a jab for that full body movement. If you have any questions like this, you can drop them in the comments below.